Hello again from the Smoky Valley Library and welcome to our second STEM video, Mercury and Venus. Did you know that Mercury is the second smallest planet in our solar system? It travels faster around the sun than any other planet. It only takes 88 days to orbit the sun. Do you know what the second planet from the sun is? Venus. Venus is also the second brightest object in the night sky besides the moon. This week, we'll be learning about Mercury and Venus, the first two planets in our solar system. Be sure to sign up for this week's STEM project, Beat the Heat, where we will be conducting an experiment to see if we can heat shield butter in a plastic egg. This will give you an idea of what engineers are up against when trying to study such places as Mercury and Venus. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, and the second smallest of all of the planets. It was named for the Roman messenger of the gods because it seemed to move faster than any of the other planets in the sky. Mercury travels around the sun every 88 days, as I mentioned before, but engineers and scientists built a spacecraft, the Mariner 10, and it passed within 12,000 miles of the surface of Mercury back in 1974. The Mariner 10 was only able to view part of the planet. A spacecraft named the Messenger that was launched in 2004 flew by Mercury three times with the mission to map the entire planet and to study its shape, interior, and magnetic field. Now I'm about to show you the Mariner 10 and the Messenger spacecraft back to back. This image is of the Mariner 10. We have the low gain antenna, a sunshade, steerable high gain antenna, rocket motor nozzle, infrared radiometer, plasma science, tiltable solar panel, magnetometers, oculation ultraviolet spectrometer, charged particle telescope, TV cameras, and an air glow ultraviolet spectrometer. Here we have an image of the messenger space probe. We have the low gain antennas, front phased array fan beam antennas, the solar array, launch vehicle adapter, propellant tank, one of three, magnetometer, back phased array, fan beam, low gain antennas, sunshade, batteries, large velocity adjust thruster, helium tank, and the star tracker. This is the more modern version, version of the space probe. On the left we have Mercury taken by the Mariner 10 back in 1974. On the right hand side, we have an image of Mercury taken by the Messenger space probe. This colorful view of Mercury was produced by using images from the color base map image campaign during Messenger's primary mission. Mercury does not have plate tectonics, but instead it has lava flows. According to NASA, Ice caps appear to exist on the North and the South Poles, deep inside craters. Scientists believe that the ice can exist because the area where it always remains is always in shadow. Mercury is thought to have a dense iron core and a thin mantle and a thin crust. Now the core's radius, so the distance of the core, is approximately 1,118 to 1,180 miles while its crust and mantle are only about 310 to 370 miles thick. Mercury's surface is a lot like Earth's moon. It has a barely detectable atmosphere, no known life, and craters of all shapes and sizes. The temperatures here on Mercury can range from 800 degrees Fahrenheit in the day down to 280 degrees Fahrenheit at night. If you were to stand on Mercury, the sun would appear three times larger as it does, does to us on Earth. Venus is the second planet from the sun and its size is similar to Earth. 
Venus was named after the Roman goddess of love. Venus, unlike Earth, rotates retrograde. This means that the sun would rise in the west and set in the east. Just the opposite of Earth. Now, scientists think that Venus once had water, but it's long since evaporated. Now it rains sulfuric acid. The temperatures on Venus can be in the excess of 900 degrees during the day. This happens because the clouds trap the heat in from the sun instead of releasing it into the atmosphere. This is hotter on the surface of Venus than it is on Mercury because Mercury does not have thick clouds. Venus's atmosphere is thick and poisonous with strong winds and lightning. The atmospheric pressure on the surface will crush a metal spacecraft in a few hours. Venus is not a friendly place for humans to visit. Volcanic eruptions shape the surface of Venus. Venus shows no evidence of plate tectonics, which on Earth is an important way for planetary heat release. Instead, large circular patterns called coronae form on the surface causing the surface to warp as they release hot material from below the surface. Since our most powerful telescopes are not able to see through Venus's cloudy atmosphere, engineers designed unmanned spacecraft to use radar to image Venus's surface and infrared mapping to view mid-level cloud structure. Here we can see an image of Venus from the Mariner 10. This newly processed image revisits the original data with modern image processing software. A contrast enhanced version of this view makes features in the planet's thick cloud cover visible in greater detail. This view is a false color com composite created by combining images taken using orange and ultraviolet spectral filters on the spacecraft's imaging camera. This next image is also Venus. This picture was taken by the Galileo spacecraft's Solid State Imaging System on February 14, 1990, at a range of almost 1.7 million miles from the planet. A high-pass spatial filter has been applied in order to emphasize the smaller scale cloud features, and the rendition has been colorized to a bluish hue in order to emphasize the subtle contrasts in the cloud markings to indicate that there was taken through a violet filter. If you'd like to find out how much you would weigh on Mercury and Venus, head over to the NASA website and take a look. Again, don't forget to sign up for experiments for a chance to see who can beat the heat. And please like and subscribe our YouTube channel and watch for Miss Amy's Storytime and next week's STEM lesson. Thank you and have a great day.